Hey guys, in this vlog we take you to La Colombe, one of the most celebrated and awarded restaurants in all of South Africa. La Colombe was recently awarded one of the top 50 restaurants in the world, and TripAdvisor has ranked it as high as number 6 of top fine dining experiences worldwide. Located at the beautiful Silver Mist Organic Wine Estate, just a short drive from Central Cape Town, La Colombe is a fusion of contemporary Asian and French cuisine. There's so many theatrics and interesting undertakings during this meal making it quite memorable. Is this restaurant really worth it though? Or is it just all hype? With about three weeks of advance notice, we managed to get a table for lunch and we'll share our thoughts today in this completely unfiltered and unsponsored review of La Colombe. It's like a bird's nest. Food is our theater. Enjoy the show. All right, we're starting off with their alec cleanser, which is in like an egg and it looks like this. Yeah, it's really citrusy. Definitely changing your palate around. <laughs> Very cool, they put this in an egg. So we're here at La Colombe. Katrin has invited me here for Valentine's Day. <laughs> an early Valentine's Day, because it's really hard to get a reservation here. It's two to three weeks minimum, and she's been on it. It's one of the best restaurants in Africa. So there's pretty much only one way to go, I think, which is the chef's menu, which looks like, how many courses? One, two, two three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. courses coming in at $16.95 grand. So that's about a hundred-ish dollars per person. Definitely not cheap. And you can add a wine flight for $11.95. So it could be a very expensive meal, but just judging by the quality of even the palate cleanser, I think it's definitely gonna be up there with a meal that would be significantly more in Europe or in the United States. Definitely. Then it's like a once in a lifetime kind of experience. I think without looking too hard, we're just gonna go all in. Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> A whole forest has come to see us, apparently. We have so many things. I don't remember everything he said, but I know there's like cherry with like chicken liver. There's a bread here. There's something with chutney. Even the hand towel uh, smoking. All right, let's so give it a try. So we're supposed to start with this one. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Almost too pretty to eat. All right, cheers. Cheers. Some mushroom. It's really earthy. What do you think? I don't like yogurt that much. Yeah, me either. So this is definitely out of the comfort zone. Let's try some of the bread. It's a sweet potato bread and it comes with like very chutney butter. Definitely has like a beautiful curry flavor. That's like a Cape Filet curry. Really nice. Mm. Okay, so this is our chef's vision of a smoked tomato. It's a real tomato. We're trying the smoked tomato. It's not a tomato. The oils that they add are so good. Food's coming. We're heading into our next course, but so far it really has been a theatrical dining experience. What is coming right now? Wow, it's like a dinosaur egg. Wow. What you have in front of you, this is the passion fruit and tiger pearl dish. So what chef did with this dish, they take the passion fruit, open the top, take out all the fruit out, add a bit of pickle ginger in there, uh -huh. sweet corn, and the tom yum velouté, then they close it. So they don't touch everything outside so that all the ingredients can cook together. Alright, so I've never been handed scissors in a restaurant before. So they've got passion fruit, which looks like they've roasted it and we're supposed to cut in and there's a tiger prawn inside and lots of juices all around. Super cool. Now we've just had these tiny spoons for every course. 
there's prawn in here. In mine, at least. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have just the sauce. Or in your shirt, it's not at the bottom? No. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Looks like a soup. Can I try yours? Oh, you have stuff in there? Lots of stuff. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should say something. <laughs> she just stole my food. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have like not no anything. It's just soup. It's missing the entire course, but this is amazing. Big chunks of prawn and corn. Okay, you definitely have to have this. We need to call the chef. The crime has been committed. <laughs> this is something I was really skeptical about, but it works really, really well. It's actually my favorite thing I've had so far. Okay. Okay, Katrin has basically almost missed the course. Let's see how she really thinks it tastes. This is much better and a little spicy, right? How do you like that? Wait, do you taste it? Definitely one of the favorite courses. I yeah. really feel like I'm in Jurassic Park or something. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, so this is Saskatchewan who has researched this place extensively. So I heard about this tuna and soy signature dish and everybody seems to really love it. We're actually getting an enclosed tuna camp. Smells nice and citrusy. Yeah. Below everything is the actual fish. Let's see what it tastes like. Very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think you would like that. Oh, it's nice. The flavor, lemony. It does feel like you're at the theater. Yeah. It feels like more like parts of a play than a typical meal. It's really interesting. Really unique fine dining experience. And I feel like, you know, it's not just sometimes the presentation is really beautiful and it's just the show is nice, but the food is actually not performing. And I think it's really in a good combination of flavor and the way it's presented. It's not all like gimmicky things to make it just like wow factor. The food actually is very good as well. Very high quality. Variety of flavors, more Asian inspired. If you like Asian food, I think you will be very happy to be here. So far, almost every course has been a serious hit, and it just keeps getting better, so we're going to see how this goes for the next one. What you have in front of you, this is the Petit Poisson, which is the grilled baby chicken. Alright, so, going into a bigger course here, we have a scallop and chicken dish. So Katrin's has different sauces, because the sauces here do have nuts, and mine don't have. Oh wow, the chicken is wonderful. And this corn puree is really good too. What do you think? I would say I agree. <laughs> oh yeah, the more you eat of that puree, the better. It's been a couple of hours that we've been here so far, by the way, for lunch. This is definitely a leisurely meal. Really, really worth it though. Really good. So I actually really loved it. Hmm. And you finally got your cutlery, because we had like only a little the whole yeah. time. But we had soups, we had salads, we had like nice curry butter. So many different things leading up to this. The scallop is so beautifully done, so tasty. It's perfectly seared at the top with some like citrus. It's really nice. Very good. I'm impressed. Wow. How are you doing today? Good. Very nice. How are you? Wonderful. I'm great, thanks. I'm Jo and I'm here to take you through your palate cleanser this afternoon. I've got wow. three different flavors for you to choose from today. The first is pineapple and rum. The second is strawberry and mint. And the third is apple and lemon verbena. So we have a palate cleanser coming. But this is the coolest palate cleanser ever. This is the ever. coolest palate cleanser ever. <laughs> Check this out. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. All right, we're going to try ice cream cone, but you can't eat the cone. So you got snow, pineapple, and rum, some jelly. Mm. Mm. It's really bright, really waking up your palate. Interesting. It's really, really cool with the snow cart. Let's try this beef filet. Go ahead and give it a shot. I know you're eager. Mmm, beautiful wagyu beef filet. Nice sides. Brisket, potato, carrots. Oh, no, that's very tasty. Oh, wow, thank you so much. But then I also want to grab your red wine as well. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, wow. Thank you. Katrin has somehow turned this into like a triple tasting here. She has some red wine to have with the beef, the wine we ordered, which is a Chet and Blanc, and a really good MCC. They're just complimentary. Cheers to all of you. Oh, 
that's really good. I'm gonna try the beef brisket. So this Wagyu beef and this also beef brisket, chimichurri next to it. I'm happy about that. Oh. Everything so far on this plate is insanely good. Wow. I think we're heading towards the dessert direction. Presently approaching 5 p.m. and we arrived for a 1.30 reservation. So we've been literally eating for more than three hours. I don't feel like the time that we spent here was like, you know, there was a big gap in between. The it's a very leisurely passed. afternoon. And it doesn't seem like that much time has passed, but really and truly, this is a half day experience. If I could make any kind of critique. So Kasha received an entire course without the protein inside of the course, which is a little bit weird, but things happen. And then for the pre-dessert course that just happened, very specific about a nut allergy, and I was almost just given a dessert with nuts on it, which that would have been really bad at this point in the eating journey because it will just really upset me. However, they were accommodating. They were accommodating, but I think someone in the food chain did not get informed. So perfection, no. Very, 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 very good. Yeah, I'd say so. But on the plus side, you have incredible presentation, you have the theatrics that they're doing with all the food, you have the actual taste of the food, which most courses have been mind-blowing. Very good. Friendly waiters. Very friendly waiters. Complimentary mini tastes yep. of wine. So on the plus side, <laughs> Katrin got like bathed in extra wine. <laughs> All right, so all good things must come to an end. Sadly. Seriously, sadly. How sad are you? I feel like it was great, but I don't feel you would think after the course you're just exploding. No. It was perfect. It was not a huge quantity of food, but we're here at the dessert now. Give this a try. It's yeah, it made. looks beautiful. Mm, very good. Mm, it's nice, it's nice. Wow. So we're gonna try <laughs> the honey dessert. So they yes. do have a honey farm here on the vineyard. Let's try this one. Yeah, and they get the honey and they magically made a lot of petty pork for us, which we didn't really expect after having the yeah. best dessert. So we're having more dessert. So this is like the third dessert, basically, if you're keeping track. Yeah. The third dessert. <laughs> Definitely like a burst of really good. Like I have my little nut free section. Which looks like this. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. The chocolate's amazing. Interesting taste here. My favorite being, of course, the chocolate. It's almost six o'clock. It's crazy. I've been here for about four and a half hours just eating and drinking. Last course. What? There's more. Wow. La Colombe. I'm here. We're outside. Troy is still here. Thank you, Troy. Really, really <laughs> great. How do you like it? Vegan. This is how we're closing our meal. This is a dough in origami, and the restaurant is called La Colombe, which in English means the dough. Oh! Poetic. Uh, <laughs> look at this! Look at this! Well done. <laughs> and a message from the team. Let's see what they say. Food is our theater. We hope you enjoyed the show. Warm regards, the La Colombe team. Definitely theatrical experience. This is definitely something that I would say if you appreciate fine dining is a must do here in Cape Town. If you appreciate good food, good cuisine, it's a very much a thing that you should do if you have enough budget. All meal came down to around 150 a person, but with two bottles of wine. But on the other hand, I also have to say like, sometimes those really fancy restaurants I feel a bit awkward in. And while this was a fine dining experience, I feel like it was also a bit more casual. Like I didn't feel out of place, like it was just 
like good. Yeah, I would say that it definitely has a more contemporary, semi-relaxed feel. There was like a group of friends next to us, maybe 10 people, all just having, having a great time, time and making a lot of fine. noise, but it, it would have been very out of place in typical fine dining settings, but here it was very welcome. We definitely had a great time as well. Thank you so much for bringing me here. We are going to now see what else they have to offer here. If you like this video, definitely be sure to click the like button because we want more people to learn more about this review yeah, and of just for La Colombe. The record, it's 6.30. Yeah, it's 6.30. This is a five hour experience. I've never had a five hour meal in my life. We took it easy, kind of slow, had a good time, but I think definitely plan around three plus hours. Three plus hours for sure. But yeah, definitely click the subscribe button if you have not already, if you want to hear more about our travels or more from here in Cape Town. And, and we will see you. If oh, you wait, have hold other on. favorite restaurants that <laughs> you personally really enjoy oh, that more. you want us to check out, we're curious yeah. because this was on my bucket list, so now I need a new restaurant. La Colombe, <laughs> definitely something we would say you should take a chance. So, the cat. Tim and Catherine Michelin stars, I would say 9 out of 10. I would say it's a solid 8.7 for me. So then well, I would say it's a 9.5 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> from the German. Okay. 8.7 plus 9.5. That's no, like a 9.1 average. Perfect. It was almost perfect for me, and I did enjoy besides maybe one dish. Yes. But apart from that, and I don't have an allergy, <laughs> so I think I had a good experience. And especially the presentation for me, it just wowed me. I think, though, if you're here in Cape Town for more than like four, five, six days, this is definitely something. Something you should try and reserve on your way weeks here ahead. <laughs> weeks ahead months if you can you know to get into here that would be probably pretty good again if you like this video definitely please click the subscribe button to see Thumbs more up. of our travels and hit the like button for this video to be shared with the whole world and we'll catch you in the next video